Hello my beautiful people, today I'll be showing you how to partition your hard drive on Windows 10. Partitioning your hard drive is just going to create uh, a space on the drive C for you to save your information in case your Windows crashes. You can still get your important information or your important documents. Okay, to start we have to go to our, our, window, our window explorer. So we're going to click here and we click on the computer. Okay guys, this is actually my drive. Uh, here we get uh, my new volume, which is volume D and my C drive. Okay, so this new volume is, is, is currently holding my very important documents in here. So I will show you how to further partition your C drive. But in case you haven't partitioned your, C, your drive before, you're just gonna see a very long drive, which consists of this one C drive and, and the D drive. So now I will show you how you can partition this C drive in order to get something like this, something like this, where you can keep your very important information. Okay, let's let's dig in, guys. Okay, so what you need to do is you have to click on your computer. You go to manage. Okay, uh, it comes up with the computer management. So now we need to click on the disk management. Disk management is actually taking us to the the hard drive. So just gonna expand here. Okay, if you look carefully guys, you see uh, I got a lot of partitions here. So I have, uh, this is where my C drive, where my very important information is. Here you have uh, say the healthy recovery partition. It's just, it's just holding some very important information for regarding this C drive. So guys, where we're going to be working on is on the C drive. This is the new volume where I created before. This is where my very important information is stored. So guys i'm just gonna do something similar in order to get a volume like this so what we need to do is we need to create an an extra uh, drive from c drive like from this one so you just right click you come to string volume uh it, it's going to query the string space guys so it's gonna take a bit some time so you can just chill and wait for it to to pop up guys okay here we go so it actually takes some time depending on how your volume or your volume of a hard drive is. So it depends on the size of your hard drive. Okay, so here yeah, it gives us the total volume of my drive C, which is um, approximately two, 205 gig somewhere there. And the size available to string. So because I've actually stringed this uh, volume before, it actually gives me a very small uh, size to string so it's actually giving me a five gig space to string so i'll just use maybe uh create a, a three gig space string a three gig space out of five gig so i'm just gonna put here three thousand okay so when you put three thousand here it's actually the amount of space in megabytes which is equivalent to three gig so you just say hit the string button okay it's just gonna take some while and it's going to appear somewhere here. Okay, guys, here we have uh, 2.9, which is equivalent to three gig of space that we've actually created. Now, it's, the space is actually unallocated. So now, for us to be able to see this in our computer panel, we need to allocate this on allocated space. So what you need to do is you just right click here. You say new, take new volume. Uh, welcome to the new simple volume wizard. You just click next. Okay, it actually shows us the space where we, the allocated space we choose. So you just click next. And uh, the assigned volume, we can give it a letter. You just any letter here, it, it doesn't matter, guys. So I'll just stick to F and just click next. Okay, so the format volume will take the file system NFT, NTFS. So I recommend you guys to use NTFS, guys, because it's actually very fast and uh, just allocated unit size leave it at default then you can give the volume a label we can just say our backup this is our backup meaning it's just going to hold our information so after doing that guys you just click next and you finish a very new empty partition that we just created now to see this partition to see this partition we created we have to move to our computer panel here you, on our explorer guys we going to see the backup this is the f drive where we just created it's just similar to this one so 
you can put in your information here in case your computer crashes guys you can still always retrieve your information here okay what happens if you don't want this drive anymore uh, you can actually delete this drive and and add the drive to the local disk c so i'll show you how to do that you head back to your computer management system now you you can format this volume or you delete the fold of the, the the partition actually so to do that guys we just click here and we say delete volume and make sure you back up all the information in that uh, partition because if you delete uh, guys everything you lose everything so just hit yes i don't have anything inside yes okay now it it's deleted now to add this partition back to your c drive you just need to click uh your c drive right click your c drive then you say extend volume extend volume just click next okay it just actually shows you the size of the volume that you extended the c drive to you just click next and uh, and finish yeah guys so that's all for this tutorial guys if you like uh, this video please leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel make sure you if you have any problems just write in the comment section below